hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make the skull bucket hat um, I learned how to make these granny square skulls skull granny squares from a page I think I'll leave the link in the description box below I don't remember the name but um, this is not my original like design I just picked inspiration from that particular video and I came up with something nice. So I put a poll on my Instagram page asking what I should use the, the skull granny squares for. And the answers were really, really many. M most of you guys were giving me pants, um, dress, skirt, sweater. And I think the sweater is still in progress. Um, I'll give you a tutorial on the sweater bit. But right now we are going to learn how to make a simple bucket hat. So I'm going to first teach you how to make the general um, skull granny square. Then I'll show you how to shape it into a functional piece. So a brief note uh, before you begin. I was really dying to use my 7mm crochet hook. And that's exactly what I used for this project. But I would advise you to use about a 5.5 .5, go down by about um, two hook sizes or at least 1.5 so this is a seven so just go down like 5.5 .5 or a five in order to achieve a tighter tension if you don't mind having a bigger loose fitting bucket hat then go for the seven millimeter a six can also do and then you also need a dunning needle to weave in your ends and then you'll need yarn for the yarn i'm using just um this is milk cotton for the white bit and then uh for the black i used a chunky yarn uh, i used robin and this is a chunky yarn and you can see the size is almost the same so if you just have the milk cotton, the one on the chunky side, then you're going to have to use that. Then you also need a pair of scissors and I guess a measuring tape. But while I was working this bucket hat, I was taking the measurements that I got here. So I didn't know how big the bucket, the bucket hat would turn out. So let's begin and learn how to make this beautiful creation. So we're going to start off with a skull and we're going to start with the white bit which is in the middle of the uh, granny square so you're going to make a slip knot sorry a magic ring so you just do this like that and then grab your hook and pull on the working yarn like that and then you're going to hold Remove your fingers and hold that point. You should be having something that looks like this. And then you're going to make a chain of two and that chain of two doesn't count as a stitch. You're going to go into the magic ring with a total of nine double crochets. So for a double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over pull through two so that's our very first double crochet and then yarn over insert your hook into the same magic ring pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so that's the second double crochet we are going to continue to place double crochets until we have a total of nine double crochets into the magic ring so this is four five six seven eight and nine so we have a total of nine double crochets not including the chain two at the beginning of the round of the round so after your nine double crochets you're going to make a chain of five and then go into the magic ring with a double crochet and then you're going to make a chain of three double crochet into the same exact magic ring 
and chain five and then go into the very first double crochet that you made and place one slip stitch so for a slip stitch you insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop and then pull through so that's how we've ended our round you should have something that looks like this and now we are going to get our tail and close it you're going to just pull on it so that we close the magic ring this is the magic ring right here so when you pull the tail you can see the magic ring closing up so this is uh, the end of round one and you can see the skull head has already been formed and then now we are going to chain one single crochet into the same exact stitch single crochet into the next and continue to single crochet into each and every stitch until we get to the chain space so we have our single crochets into all the nine um, double crochets below into the chain five space you're going to place a total of six single crochets three four five and six and then we are going to go into the next chain three space we're going to start with a slip stitch into it then you're going to chain two and double crochet two times into the same exact space one two and then you're going to chain two and slip stitch into the same space the same chain three space and then you're going to go into the next chain five space with a total of six single crochets So after your six single crochets, you're going to go into the first single crochet that you made with a slip stitch. Like that. And then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. This marks the end of the first color. So after this, you should have the definite head uh, shape of the skull. And now we are going to introduce our second color. For me, this is going to be black because it's what I used for the tutorial. But I'm going to try my best to explain and show you exactly what I did. I know black can be um, a bit challenging when we are working tutorials because it's hard to see. So. You're going to start off with a slip knot. And then you are going to go into the stitch after the stitch where you place the slip stitch. So into this one. And you're going to attach your black yarn. Like that. Now you're going to chain three and that counts as a double crochet. Go into the same exact stitch with one double crochet. Chain three. Go into the same stitch with two double crochets. So that means the first stitch has two double crochets. Chain two, chain three, two double crochets. Two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets into the very first stitch. Now you're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. So those are half double crochets. One double crochet into the next stitch. In the next, you're going to place two double crochets. chain three 
and two more double crochets into the same exact stitch and you can see we've formed our second corner the chain three spaces create the corners of uh, the skull granny square so after this you're going to place one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches so one two three and four then after this you're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch into the next stitch you're going to place two double crochets this is a corner so two double crochets chain three and two more double crochets okay this is what we have one double crochet into the next stitch and now um, we are going to go into the next double crochet we're going to skip over the chain two that we have here go on top of the first stitch the first double crochet and place a single crochet single crochet into the next uh, stitch and then we are going to go into the chain the top chain of the chain two and we are going to place one single crochet so that's a total of three single crochets across the lower jaw of the skull so we are going to go into the next stitch with one double crochet We are going to place a corner into the next stitch so two double crochets chain three and two more double crochets okay so that's our uh our last corner because the first one is here the second one is here third and fourth and then into the next four stitches you're going to place one half double crochet into each one two three and four and then um into that stitch where we placed a slip stitch remember we didn't place a stitch in there so we're going to go into that space with one double crochet and then at this point you can go on top of the chain three at the beginning of your round and you're going to place one slip stitch and now we've turned the skull into a square now uh, we're going to chain three and that counts as our very first double crochet you're going to go into the next stitch with one double crochet so from now on we are going to just place one double crochet into each stitch and in each uh, chain three space we shall place two double crochets chain three and two more double crochets so now we are at the chain three space so we are going to place two double crochets chain three and two more double crochets Now we're going to go into each and every stitch after that with only one double crochet into each stitch until we get to the chain three space. Okay. So into the chain three space, you're going to place two double crochets, chain three, and two more double crochets. And then um, one double crochet into each of the next stitches. And we're going to repeat this all the way around until we come back to the beginning of the round.
So I'm placing my last double crochets of the round before I get to the very first double crochet or the chain three at the beginning of the round. So I've placed my last double crochet into that very last stitch which is here and I'm going to go on top of the very first chain three that I made for the round and I'm going to make a slip stitch. So this is what we have for our skull. You can go ahead and uh, repeat the same exact round that we just made to make your skull either bigger or just subtract rows to make uh, the granny square a little bit smaller or thinner. So um, if you want a bigger one, just repeat that same exact round. Increase at the corners and you'll be able to get a perfect um, square. So, we are currently done with the skull. You're going to go ahead and make a total of four of these. I won't take the measurement right now because um, my measurements were clearly wrong. They came out a little bit on the bigger side. So, uh, just make four of these. And then uh, I'll come back and show you how to do the next part. So after your slip stitch, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn, leaving a strand to weave in. So I currently have my four skulls ready. And uh, I'm now going to work on the very top part of the bucket hat, which is this part here, where the skulls are going to sit, that top part. So um, let's begin. I'll be demonstrating that part using white because black is a little bit dark to see the demonstration. So. I'm going to use my white yarn to demonstrate that, but go ahead and use whatever color that you wish to use for your bucket hat. So for the upper part, the top of the hat, you're going to make a magic ring and you are going to make a chain of two and that chain of two doesn't count as a stitch always. So you're going to go into the magic ring with a total of 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Now you're going to pull on the tail to close the magic ring and after that you're going to go into the very first double crochet that you made. Not the chain two, the first double crochet that you made and make a slip stitch. Now we're going on to round two and we're going to make a chain of two which doesn't count as a stitch. Then you're going to go ahead and place two double crochets into that very first stitch and two double crochets into each of the remaining stitches. So two double crochets into each and every stitch all the way around. So we are coming to the end of our round two and we are placing two double crochets into that last stitch. 
and at the end of round two you should be having a total of 24 um, double crochets all the way around now we're going to go into the very first double crochet that we made and you're going to place one slip stitch now you're going to chain two and that doesn't count as a stitch this is round three you're going to go into the very first stitch with a total of one double crochet and then into the next you're going to place two double crochets in in the next stitch then one double crochet into the next and two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into the next two double crochets into the next stitch and repeat this all the way around So we're coming to the end of the round and you should end your round three with an increase into the very last stitch meaning your last stitch should have a total of two double crochets into it and at the end of round three you should have a total of 36 stitches all the way around now we're going to round four you're going to chain two which doesn't count as a stitch and then we're going to go into the very first stitch with one double crochet one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the next let's do that again one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next and then two double crochets into the next so this time we have uh, two stitches before the increase so one into the next two stitches one stitch into the next two stitches and then the next one gets an increase and we are going to repeat that all the way around So we're coming to the end of round four and we are ending it with an increase into the very last stitch and at the end of this round you should have a total of 48 double crochets around so after your last stitch you're going to go into the very first stitch that you made with a slip stitch this marks the end of round four now we're going to round five and this is the final round of the top of our hat so you're going to chain two which doesn't count as a stitch and this time we are going to do a total of three stitches before the increase so one into the same stitch one into the next one into the next that makes a total of three stitches and then into the next you're going to place Two double crochets and then we're going to repeat that uh, three stitches before the increase let me just rush through this so remember for the actual heart I used a, a black color so after this I'll go back to my actual design this was just for the sake of demonstrating and giving you a clear view of what's happening on the hat so 
so we're coming to the end of round five and I'm placing my very last increase into the very last stitch and you should have a total of 60 stitches for round five then you're going to go into the very first stitch that you made with a slip stitch so for the sake of demonstration we are done with this circular um, motif the one that goes on top of the head here so that is called i think the crown and then this is the body and then this is the brim so the crown of the hat is now done and now um, let's go back to the actual color and i show you how to wind up your hat all right so i am currently done with my five rounds i'm sorry for using a dark color but i have demonstrated this using a brighter color which is white so the upper part of the bucket hat measures about seven inches uh across so we are now going to after your last slip stitch you're going to chain one and leave a very long strand this strand is going to help us join um the skulls onto the circular motif we just did all right so you're going to get your darning needle and thread that strand that you just left behind actually you're going to pull through here and then you're going to get your darning needle and thread thread it now it's time for us to start joining now you're going to make sure that the head of the skull faces the the circular bit so we are considering 13 stitches across across this side and then one on this side and one on this side so that makes a total of 15 stitches on each side of the square so we start with the corner and place it into the very first stitch and then I'm going into the back loop, the downer loop of the stitch, then uh, the loop that is near this one. So just start joining. You can also use a single crochet stitch if you wish to use that. So, so far I have joined a total of four stitches and i am going to continue five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, and you should make sure that the 15th stitch is in the space. So you can either grab uh, the very first chain on this side or just go into the space. And attach into the 15th stitch on the circular motif so this is what we have now we are going to get our next skull and we are going to just do the same so start with the space into the next stitch sorry like that and then start attaching the stitches all the way around.
So I've attached my um, second skull. Now we're going to do the third one. Get your third skull and do the same exact thing. So, so just do the same exact thing for the third and the fourth skull and I'll be back to show you what to do next. All right, so I have joined my last, um, my last uh, skull onto the circular motif. And somehow the circular motif has turned into a square because we've joined four motifs onto it. So this is where my last stitch went. And now we're going to fold over our work, just um, get the exact middle and do it like this and you can see the shape of the bucket hat is already being seen if you can do that and uh, we are not going to cut this string because now we are going to start joining these uh, sections of the skulls the skull grannies we're going to join um, this side to this side just like we did here so just going to the space or into the chains i think i'll go into the chains for this uh, part just attach the corresponding chains together so i'm attaching the chains for the corners and then um, for the stitches i'll go into the downer loops just like we've been doing for the upper part. Don't forget, there's a stitch here and don't miss it. This is one of the stitches where there's that loose end. Okay, so continue to join until you get to the base of the hat. Right, so we're going to attach the two chains of the chain three in the corner that is one and then two join the second one as well and at that point we are going to weave in this tail into the back side of the hat just weave in the tail and then you're going to cut your yarn and this is what we have I hope it's clear I'm sorry for using a dark color but I hope the explanations are very clear so we're going to go ahead and join these points this one this side to this side and then we go behind this side to this side this side to this side and I'll be back to show you what I have after that Okay, so I'm joining my very last part and I wanted to demonstrate how I do it. Um, I attach 
the second chain of the chain space leaving a tail behind to weave in then I attach the second chain as well the next chain and then I start attaching the stitches on the body of the uh, skull granny square going into the downer loops only So continue to join until you get to the chain three space and when you get to the chain three space you only join uh, the two chains so that we get to the exact middle of the chain three and the moment you're done with that just turn your work onto the wrong side and weave in your tail So that's the same exact thing that I did for the first skull granny. But just in case you forgot, here is just a recap to remind you of what to do. So the moment you're done with this, this is what we have. We have the general shape of the hat. And this can fit any adult size head, I think. So um, if I am to measure this, across it measures about 11 inches around there so if you have a smaller head then you are going to have to adjust the hook size that you're using so um, the next thing that I'm going to do is to get rid of all the loose ends before I work on the brim of the hat so just go ahead and get rid of all these strands lying around using your darning needle and then i'll meet you back you can see i have a lot going on on the inside so i want to get rid of anything that is unsightly and then we shall come back and do the next part all right so after getting rid of all your loose strands as you can see here your bucket hat should be very neat this is the wrong side of the hat and uh, when I turn it to the right side we have something that is so organized at least better than what we had before so just go ahead and get rid of all the loose strands that you have on your hat and then we go on to the next step which is the brim For the brim, I'll still be using black. I'll try my best to explain so that you get uh, whatever I'm doing right. So I'm going to start from one of the chain spaces of the skull granny. I'll start from this one. Attach my yarn and we shall place one stitch into each um, stitch across and then one stitch into the chain space for example these ones that join um, the two granny squares together so you're going to chain one and then half double crochet into the space and then we're going to half double crochet into each and every stitch across So I think I should start flaring out the brim on this row. So instead of um, one stitch into each, I will do one, two, three, four, five, and then into the sixth, into the sixth stitch, I'll place two double crochets, and then uh, one double crochet into the next five. Those are two, three four and five and then into the next I'll place 
two double crochets two half double crochets sorry the brim is worked with half double crochets then uh, into the next five so one two this is a space so it will get only one half double crochet those are three then four into the next space you can see that and then five and then into the next you're going to place two half double crochets then continue to do this all the way around one two three four and five and into the next we shall place two half double crochets now you're going to repeat that all the way around So I am ending my row with two half double crochets into the last chain space. And now uh, we're going to make one slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we did for our round. So now uh, I don't know if I should switch colors. I'm not very sure about that. I feel like um, our look is too black so at this point I can go ahead and chain one cut my yarn and introduce white so that we have some white lines that are running around so grab your white color and attach it into the same exact stitch where you placed your slip stitch Okay, so you're going to chain one, half double crochet into the very first stitch because the chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So half double crochet into the next, half double crochet until you have a total of uh, six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then into the seventh, you're going to increase which means uh, placing two half double crochets into it. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And into the seventh, you're going to place two half doubles. And repeat this all the way around. So I've made it all the way around.
so I've made it all the way around and you can see the brim is flaring out outwards and from here I am going to make one slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that I made for this white round chain one cut my yarn okay now we're going to go back to our black color because I want black to be the edging color and this is going to be our final round or if you want your brim longer you're going to continue to work your rounds until you get the length of the brim that you want so make a slip knot attach into that very first stitch chain one half double crochet into the same exact chain and then um, that counts as our very first half double crochet so we're going to have double crochet for a total of seven stitches so two three four five six seven and then into the eighth we're going to place two half double crochets so seven stitches and then two half double crochets into the eighth and repeat this all the way around So after your last stitch, you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made. All right, so I'm sorry I lost the footage, but after my last um, half double crochet into the first stitch, I went ahead to do one more round of single crochets all the way around the brim of the hat. And this is what I came up with. And I think that's basically it this is the final result that I got for my bucket hat and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys and um, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below to let me know how yours came out and how you like this and also to subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you in my next tutorial when we are making another project using these skulls I think I am literally obsessed with them. I have several of these made and then I also have this size made already and just waiting for the right uh, project to use them for. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!